The auxiliary fence is made from high-density polyethylene. It cuts and machines nicely. The 14-degree fence angle was established at the table saw. Bulk material was removed at the drill press with a Forstner bit, and the thumb screw adjustment slot was cut using the domino, though drilling and filing would work as well. I used my drill press with a quarter inch shank carbide burr bit to clean up the thumb screw recess and it works surprisingly well. The plane has two machined grooves that keep the metal auxiliary fence perpendicular to the blade. These slots are the same size as a brad nail. Using double sided tape I mounted a rabbited block of wood, a picture frame cut off, to the plane to act as a guide. Next, I heated up a clipped brad nail to red hot and set it in one of the fence grooves on the plane. I used a long machine screw to keep the high density polyethylene fence in line. Before the nail could cool down, about 10 seconds at most, I moved the fence into position and melted the nail into it. I then repeated the process. Once the nails were removed from the high density polyethylene, which was actually pretty tough, they melted in with authority, I paired any melted polyethylene off the face of the fence. Two new brad nails clipped to 75% the length of the nails used to melt the grooves in the fence were used for final assembly. The result is a fence that really stays put and can be quickly reversed to either side of the plane body. Very cool.